Good morning YouTube. So this feels super weird to be doing but thank you so much if you are joining the video. My name is B. if you don't know I'm an online fitness coach um, and I've basically decided to start this YouTube just to give you a little bit more insight into who I am, share my own fitness journey with you a little bit, share a day in my life, some food ideas, maybe some fitness tips to get you started. Um, so if you're watching thank you very much. Please click subscribe, like the video, comment what you'd like to see on the channel. All today's video is going to be is me taking you through a little bit of a day in their life. It's not that exciting, just to warn you. Um, I'll share all of my food ideas for you and hopefully give you some ideas. So today I've got a PT session down at the gym I work at and then I'm going to do my own workout after that session. I'm getting my brows laminated, which I've not had done before, so I'm a little bit scared how that's going to go. And then come back, hopefully get to enjoy some sunshine. Yeah, and that's it really. I'm just going to take you through it with me. So first things first, I need to go and get some food ready for the day. I'm going to be at the gym most of the morning so I need to take, yeah, breakfast, snacks and all that with me. I have made it to the gym. It is a right trek. So I've got 10 minutes till my PT session so I'm just gonna respond to some messages, do the session, after that I'm gonna do some of my own some client work. I've got lots of girls starting Monday so I want to make sure they are confident and ready to go and then I'll get my own workout done. So it's now shorts weather as well. Not sure how I feel about it. I don't have many shorts so I need to get some new ones. So if anyone's got any recommendations oh oh no if anyone's got any recommendations for some shorts please let me know these are gymshack ones but i got them ages ago right so it's now 11 i've just been working away had the pt session 9 till 10 and i'm now finally gonna eat so i find it really helpful to just push my meals later in the day it keeps me fuller in the evenings it means i'm less likely to peck away especially now that i'm in a calorie deficit just makes it a lot easier for me personally to stick to so for breakfast, as you saw in the clip before, hopefully, um, I've got skier yogurt. So this is just in a little Tupperware so I can take it to work, which looks a bit gross. But And then a banana to go with it. So I'm going to enjoy this, wait like half an hour, and then I'm going to do my workout. So that's my warm-up. Two rounds of... 400 meters on the echo bike, 30 kettlebell swings, 10 kettlebell snatches on each arm and then 10 knee to elbows and then I'm going to do it once more and then start the workout. just wanted to mention whilst I have a little rest period is a lot of the time women come to me and they're so scared of lifting weights or they wonder if um, it's the right thing to do if their goal is weight loss. Lifting weights is not going to ruin your weight loss, it's not going to make you bulky, it's only going to improve the process. As you build muscle it's going to increase your metabolism, you're going to need more energy, it's going to give you something to focus on other than just the scale. Um, and it's going to help you maintain a nice body shape, stay toned, get stronger, slow down the signs of ageing. 
it's so important um and yeah i cannot stress enough a few sessions a week or five sessions a week however many times you want to go is not going to make you bulky it takes so long to build muscle that you really do not need to worry about becoming bulky right so that is my workout done enjoyed that it was a good little workout so in case anyone's wondering i'm currently based in like this private studio had the gym to myself which was really nice um and yeah, so I'm just gonna do some bits and then I've got about an hour until I go and get my eyebrows done. Right, so now I've finished my workout, I'm just gonna have my next meal. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have two squares bars. These are the chocolate and caramel ones. Um, and then I'm gonna have a scoop of the protein powder you saw earlier. So I have the PhD salted caramel one, which is my favorite. So I'm just gonna have those and then get myself ready for the rest of the day, I guess. Right, so I've just got back from getting my brows done. I think I like them. I just need to get used to them a little bit because they're like quite bushy. But she said that they sort of go a little bit more natural looking after like the first 24 hours. Once you sort of like put them back into place. So hopefully, I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like when they're like less natural. No, more natural. Like once they like set and get get in place. But now I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna have a turkey bacon bagel and a protein shake and then sit out in the garden for a little bit. <laughs> That is the saddest thing I have ever seen. Hello, how are you? Hello. just wanted to do a little quick tip not tip but a little quick bit talking about like my food choices why I ate what I did so at the moment I'm currently just following a meal plan so I have another coach set my meals for me I just eat them and I'm currently in a calorie deficit so having less calories than I burn um in order to lose a bit of body fat however even though I'm currently in a calorie deficit it doesn't mean my food is restricted I still ate a good amount of food I still had squares bars and things like that in the cereal um and all sorts um because just because you are trying to lose weight doesn't mean you need to cut out all of the foods you enjoy um that is part of it being a sustainable long-term approach rather than trying to find the quick fix cutting out carbs cutting out chocolate cutting out anything you enjoy um because you're not going to stick to it if you do that so if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to diet that doesn't mean you need to cut out foods you like find something sustainable set a moderate calorie deficit find the long-term approach rather than just cutting out food groups and hoping for the best right so i'm just gonna get some dinner one of the things i literally love the most about following a meal plan is it's just there in black and white what i'm gonna have i don't need to think about it like it's eight o'clock so like if i didn't have the meal plan i might just be like lazy and go for a bowl of cereal but it's just out there black and white have this no thought nice and easy <laughs> So for dinner we have just got some beef burgers made with mint so I've just shaped into burgers and then potatoes just cut into chips. <laughs> So I'm gonna end the evening there. I've just finished my day with those um, with those 5% beef burgers and chips. 
and then a bowl of cereal of Cocoa Pops and puffed wheat and then me and my friend just chilled out for the evening and watched Dirty Dancing so it was a nice chill evening she did my nails for me they're nice red although the light in here is really funny but yeah just a lovely chilled evening a nice full day of food um so i hope you liked it if you did please like and subscribe let me know what else you'd like to see in the future and hopefully i'll get a little bit better at making these videos but thank you very much for watching